Good afternoon. My name is Joshua Ferris. I'm a veteran, a union electrical worker, uh, an unemployed college graduate with $14,000 of student debt, and uh, U.S. Bank just stole $7 from me two months ago. <laughs> uh, I think this is an important resolution, and you will be on the right side of history if you get behind it. Um, I'm also not, uh, an organizer. Uh, with uh, Jobs of Justice and, um, and um, Occupy Seattle. I'm in the tactical working group. And I was on the panel discussion at uh, Town Hall, and I just would like to say something really quick on that. Um, in our work as organizers, we have different uh, priorities that, uh, t that uh, take place at different times. And at times, we uh, try to reach out to the broader community uh, with uh, the churches and the, the unions and the, the growing number of organizations uh, that, are, that are getting behind us and, and giving us their resources to support us in this uh, just cause, uh, essential cause for the survival of uh, everything. And uh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, we focus on that outreach and building that bigger movement. But other times, like on Town Hall on Saturday, uh, something else takes precedence. That's the, the, the group dynamics of our uh, our tight uh, uh, network of activists that come from uh, mil uh, military veterans, uh, constitutionalists, liberals, anarchists, socialists, communists, progressives, and how is it that we get uh, these uh, these hardline uh, uh, military ex-military guys? working with the hippies. I mean, these are things that have to be worked out, and we have all these activists, and they're working it out, and uh, uh, you, saw, you saw a little bit of that on uh, Saturday if you were at Town Hall. And uh, that's just what took precedence that night. And uh, uh, just, uh, just understand that that's only one part of uh, this global movement uh, for a better world uh, for our posterity. Thank you. My name is Justin Fisher. I have been with the Occupy movement here in Seattle since pretty much the beginning. Uh, I'd also like to thank the city council members here for us having this opportunity to speak. Uh, this movement has provided hope for many, many, many people and will continue to do so. I am prepared personally to Occupy indefinitely in not just Seattle, but I've been down as far as Oakland and Portland and Olympia in between. Uh, but I'd really like to speak on behalf of this resolution here and to say that given the fact that we passed a demand that the city's investments be divested and with this resolution you really have an opportunity to be a trendsetter in the nation right here. Seattle has always been at the forefront of social justice issues and with this initiative you're paving the way for future governmental interaction with its citizenry. And I'd just like to say in all of the movements that I've been at the one common theme is that the system that we've grown up with of a global aristocracy dictating governmental action is unacceptable and must end immediately. And with this, with this resolution, you can take the very first steps towards that. Thank you. Thank you. Next will be followed by Karen Brennan, no, Carson Brennan Young and Joseph Vaughn. Uh, members of the council, uh, thank you for the time. My name, for the record, is Craig Salins. Many of you know me from the 2008 Advisory Committee on Campaign Finance Reform. Um, I'm here to, to speak in favor of this resolution today. Um, just for your information, you may know there is a Money Out of Politics working group that is part of Occupy Seattle. I'm part of it. We have robust attendance. We had over 43 people at a meeting yesterday. It's meeting every work week. It's growing. There are many people out in the neighborhoods who support it online and so forth. Um, this resolution that you've got before you is an important first step, and we certainly hope that you will pass it. Uh, hopefully there will be many steps beyond. We do need robust examination. We hope followed by action on campaign finance reform and some of the other items mentioned in the resolution. By the way, when we say money out of politics, look, we get it that campaigns cost money. We know that. Um, you folks know this. What, 
what we're talking about is ending the undue influence of huge sums of money, especially at the federal level and the state level, that are being bundled by lobbyists because that's the way the system has been skewed and stolen. um we want our democracy back. we don't want it controlled by super pacs, by karl rove, by you know all of those groups. um undoubtedly the occupy movement has sprung to life because of all of the concerns that we have nationwide. national polls as you probably know repeatedly show that over 80% uh of people do not support the citizens united um resolution. we've got to change it. we know that may take a constitutional amendment. we know there are many good people in politics elected to office. we're glad you're here. we're glad you support us. and um i guess the final comment is the system that we got was created by people. we can change it by people. we need to do it. thank you for this resolution. please move forward on it. know that you've got um our backing on on the progressive changes that are needed and please pass this resolution. I have copies of the statement of the work once. Thank you. Thank you. Uh good afternoon. My name is Joseph Bond. Um the first thing I would like to say is that we definitely need more support for those that are in under the poverty line. Um I grew up in a household with a single mother. Uh we we were poor all the time. It was horrible. Um and things are getting worse and worse. And I cannot imagine what it is like today. Um even though that was only about 5 years ago. Um I also um I am on disability. Um I get health care from DSHS. Um I'm slowly but surely losing my health care. I have now have no dental and three hospital visits a year, um, which seems absolutely ridiculous um, uh, considering my circumstances. Um, second thing I would like to say is that um, not just concerning Occupy Seattle, but all over the city, all over the world, the police have too much power, too much, uh, too much discretion. I myself. was arrested for not leaving a tent. I was held down, my leg was twisted one way and my body was twisted the other. Um and I it's one thing that happens to me, but it's horrible to think that it's happening to other people. Um I was at Portland on um, uh during while they were being evicted. Um I saw the mass amounts of police in full riot gear um and I'm worried that's going to happen here soon and that the police might take violent action against us for being po- peaceful protesters even though they have taken violent action action so far I'm worried about future mass violent action um Please support Occupy Seattle and the citizens as a whole. Thank you.